we're glad it's only here, starting what will likely be a series of VRs. Um, there seems to be at least four that I'm aware of, probably more. It's almost, uh, I mean, it's been really hard to keep up with all the, the galls, which, um, you know, like I said in the other day's video, it makes it kind of difficult to decide when to do yours, when to do one, if you're going to do one, etc. But anyway, um, this VR is for Mo Piping. And I found uh, Mo Piping's channel quite a while ago and have been watching for some time. Um, I love what she does. Um, I love her content. Um, she's very kind of easygoing in her presentation style, um, which I appreciate. Really relaxing. Usually when I'm sitting down to watch uh, YouTube videos, I'm, you know, in kind of relaxation mode or... Um, you know, wanting to just kind of chill a little bit, and uh, she totally gives me that vibe as as uh, as I smoke my pipe. So, speaking of smoking my pipe, I am smoking my country gentleman. Um, you're going to see this in more of my uh, my series here in just a second. But uh, in it, Molto Dolce, which is actually one of the questions that Mo Piping asked us. So, uh, Mo Piping celebrating her 200 sub gall. Um, so congratulations on reaching that milestone. Um, the question, she's asked us three questions. The first question was, uh, what are you smoking right now? Well, country gentleman, Molto Dolce. I had a little bit of a sweet tooth today, and I know a lot of people complain about this tobacco. It gets all over your fingers. It's really goopy. But man, it tastes great. So... I won't say it's my favorite, but right now it's my favorite because it's in my pipe. Um, so that's what I'm smoking right now. What am I looking forward to smoking next? Oh goodness, um, probably the next. This will, this will. It's going to be a while. I wouldn't say I'm looking forward to smoking it next. I'm going to do a slight change to that. What am I looking forward to smoking? And tobaccos that I already have, and this will make sense on our third question. But tobaccos that I already have, what am I looking to uh, um, or looking forward to smoking? And I'd have to say, as a fairly new pipe smoker, I'm really looking forward to being able to try some vintage tobacco out of my own cellar. I've I've looked quite a bit for you know vintage tobacco, finding vintage tobacco on, online, and it's expensive. So I've started my own cellar. Um, I've got actually quite a few in my cellar already. And I'm kind of looking forward to, you know, a year from now or so, being able to pull some of those things out and trying them again. Um, a lot of what I put in my cellar are tins that I crack, um, I try, and then I put them in the cellar. And my thinking there is, is that I'll be able to remember, although it'll be you know some time between, but I'll be able to remember kind of what it was like, whether or not I liked it, etc., and then see what it tastes like with uh, with a little bit of age on it. So I've got a lot of those tobaccos. Um, one that I'm probably most looking forward to is a Scudo, just because I really like a Scudo fresh out of the tin, um, and I'm looking forward to seeing what that thing does with some age. And I've got a few tins of it. Um, the last question is, what is your unicorn tobacco? And I think this is like a tobacco that you don't have or you don't think you're ever going to get. And, you know, I don't think, I probably will end up getting it at some point. But, um, and I've actually tried it, which is uh, Penzance. Um, I've tried it thanks to the Garbage Man Piper. Um, but I've never been able to find it. I've had pretty good luck finding Esoterica tins. Esoterica, that's the whole stack right here. Um, I've had, well, and by the way, this whole stack, uh, minus two of those tins, is uh, thanks to Frosty Piper and his gall, which I've already done a video about. But I've had trouble finding Penzance. I mean, everybody wants it. Everybody jumps on it. It's always the first to go out of stock. Um, so I imagine at some point I'll probably get lucky and maybe find it in stock, find it as soon as it comes out, etc. Because I check the sites quite often, not necessarily for Penzance, but word seems to spread within the community fairly quickly. 
but I think my best bet for getting Penzance is probably at my brick and mortar. Um, they tend to to get quite a bit. I frequent my brick and mortar quite a bit. I want them to get to know me. I want them to get to know that I'm looking for the good tobacco, so to speak. And um, so I go in there fairly often for that reason. Um, and I'm hoping that that's probably the way that it'll pan out for me at some point. So anyway, this is the first of uh, what I think will be four VRs in a row. So you're gonna see a flood from my channel. Um, but uh, don't blame me. Blame this awesome community because uh, not only are these people willing to share of their own tobacco, their own pipes, but they're doing that because they've received um, quite a bit. Uh, I know this because I have as well. And I don't mean receive tobacco and pipes, I mean receive, um, you know, community, friendships, etc. So hats off to Mo Piping. Congratulations on your 200 sub. I am. Rogue glad solely. Keep the rubber side down.